welcome back to my channel today it's time to introduce my brand new paper collection timeless stay tuned okay first of all i'd like to show you um, how thick this pack is oh my gosh they are 78 sheets in total a4 size that's 21 by 29 and a half centimeters and there are 12 double-sided papers inside so you got six sheets each included the cover um, so yeah I'm gonna show you everything okay guys so first of all I have in front of me one set and yeah like I told you one set has 12 double-sided papers and one cover so one set it has 13 sheets all right so um okay so yeah let's just begin so the front cover as always i showed a little bit all the papers that you can get i included some um, pictures already um so it's called timeless and um what theme it is well it has so many cute items in it but it's especially about books that that's a little bit the main the main theme books and when you read a book it's for me a book is timeless you can read a book from 1800 or before or after the 2000 yeah you name it in the future a book is forever and um at, at least that that is my opinion and um, you can read and you have your chill time, your own time, your um, get lazy time in your bed, in a chair, on your couch, wherever you can, you can read. And uh, not even, it's only for books, uh, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you, it's not only books, so yeah, but it's kind of. <laughs> I always try to um, combine similar things, but let me show you. All right, so timeless it is. So the back, I always try, I already have a few collections that I did. So uh, because the cover is also six uh, pieces inside, I do not want a cutout piece on the back because a cutout sheet you don't need six times so i choose the back as a nice plain color um, that you can use for every single page so i choose for the beige color and this one has yeah what kind of ornaments little ornaments bigger ornaments but you can use this paper on every page you want background uh, for pockets, for tags, whatever you want to use it for. So that's the cover. Now let's go to the first page. As you can see, yep, there are four um, square tags on here. Be the light wherever you are. So I added this little lamp here. Enjoy the little things. That's always a nice quote for me. Here you have some books and some letters. And I added on this page uh, again some strips beautiful cool well i i think they are absolutely stunning stunning strips so not a full page but just a half page nice ornaments and yeah some pink green brown all kinds i really like them and then i had a, a little bit left so i chose to put some um quotes on some words on you know i like them so it's love nice right notes Hello Dream Book and in very small ones you and me together beautiful every day my books family and my story so you can put these everywhere you want so that's I really like this page it's very enough to do and then the back this is a very nice not a plain green but because it has some some what are these leaves I, I believe so it's a nice, but it's it's for me plain enough. I don't like totally plain pages, but this is a very, in my opinion, plain page, a plain green one. I really like it. Look at this. Oh, I love it already. 
All right, then my next page has flowers. You know I love flowers. So the background is really nice pink grunge with this stain in here and everything. I really like it. And then at the top, I just add some flower bouquet and some uh, little leaves here and there. So I'm gonna try to show you closer, but yeah, most people um, who get a paper collection of me say that in real life it looks so much better. So um, I think that too. <laughs> Not to pinch myself or something, but it is, it is. On camera it's it's so difficult to show in the, the papers in, in, in real, real, real life. Alright, and then the back we have a nice green. Yeah. Is this a plate? Can I call this plate? I don't know exactly if that is the correct word, but forgive me if it's not, but let's call this a plate. It's just very, very small square ones, uh, green and white, and I just love it. All right. Then we have this light. Oh, I love it. So it's very grungy. The background is very, very grungy, like an old um, leather. Um, um, but I don't like it so plain. So I just added this nice lamp with some leaves. I really like it. So cool. Shall we closer look? Yeah. Cool. I like it. Um, then we go to the back. This one has a cream color background and then in the front there are all kinds of nice green little flowers and leaves and it's so cute. Look, look, look at this. How old this. Now I only have four pages. Look this set. Oh, to die for. Yeah, absolutely stunning. I love it. Then we have a cut out page with some nice uh, tags with um, a nice, um, what do you call this, top. There are some books on here and here a nice cup of coffee with some books, books, books everywhere. And then um, again we have some, no it's not a square one, it's a little bit square but not that square. Okay. <laughs> Alright, okay, of course the flowers comes back, the books comes back, and then here we have some smaller tags with some quotes, just you and me, we are made of stories, it's me time, and between the pages, I really like it, so have a closer look, I really like this one, let's go to the back, and this back has some yeah, brownish linen background and then at the front some, yeah, are these flowers, ornament flowers? I don't know exactly how you call this, but I really like it. <laughs> so cool. And again, this fits also with all the rest. It's very, very nice setting till now. At least if I can see that. For myself, I really like it. All right, so let's go to the next one. Look at this, it's still, uh, I love it. All right, so this is, yeah, I don't know exactly which flower it was, but I had this this nice uh, leaf. It's 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 a, how you call that one piece of a flower, and I, yeah, I made it from the bottom, sparkling up, yeah, and I don't know how you call it, but I really like it from big to small and it fades away in the depths. Okay. <laughs> I like it. So cool. And then on the back we have that plain. It's not plain. Yeah, we call this aubergine pink. I don't know, but it's the same as the green one. But I just love it. I, this, this set I really wanted to have also some plain and quiet papers that fits so many pages. Alright, so now we definitely go to the aubergine and pink one. So the background is also a little, yeah, from purple to pink to aubergine. So it fades away in so many... I'm going to try to see it in different lights because otherwise you think that that's the light. But it's... I think this one... 
So here we have a light piece, but yeah, you will see it in your if you have this in your hands. And then again, this is a nice big flower, and then it also fades to the background. <laughs> so cool, I like it. Then we have on the back our plate again, but also in the aubergine. Ugh. Love it, I love that. You know I like stripes, but I definitely love this even more. Then our next cut apart page. Um, this one has uh, three different styles of tags. This one has this nice beautiful top with uh, Get Lost in a Book, Book Lover or Love to Read. And then these inside, I really like this one with the black. These are chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I really like it. So you can write something cool right here and then three parts. I don't know what, what was the issue, but I really like it to, to bring that back from the book team. And then at the bottom, three simple one. Yeah, it's time. And this is actually supposed to be it's 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 time to give yourself time to enjoy your, your time it, yeah if you know what I mean <laughs> so a little bit on close this is how it looks a little bit closer it's hard to show in front of the camera but I think you get the picture all right then we go to the back <laughs> I could not resist to add a stripe and this is a nice beige cream color so it fits with every page you like. It's so, yeah, I call, it, I call that. Um, you can use it. it it's so, I call that versible, no? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, so let's go to the next one. This one has that aubergine pink background. And then in front I used some nice little, um, I call these pictures, elements, to create a nice, simple page, but still very usable. I really like it. So cool. So cool. Let me go to the back. This one has a very light uh, cream background. And then in front we also have some nice flowers and leaves. And I hope you can see that because it's very light. But if I put this closer, you definitely see that. So a very nice light one is also included. And this one is absolutely one of my favorite ones. I really like it. I don't know exactly why, but it's so, yeah, I don't know, nature colors, how you call this. So the grungy page is coming back at the back. And then I added all kind of leaves from all kind of different colors all the way around. I like it. I really like it too. You also can use this uh, if you cut this in four for nice making a nice, um, I call that, uh, card or, or something. Or maybe you also can fold this double for a nice journaling page. Oh, I love it. You can use it for everyone. I really like it. So the back. Yeah, 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 of course, that is a little bit um, where I got my inspiration of this one to make a nice full one with all kinds of, yeah, the same leaves, but that it fades a little bit away at the back. I like it. So again, with this one, it's so cool to use. You also can make a nice envelope and then leave this in the, in the inside. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is again a cut out page. And here we have uh, four big tags with you are never alone when lost in the magic of a book. Oh, isn't that so cool? Yeah, I don't know about you, but I really like to use, uh, to read a book and yeah, to get lost I really like I really like it then making my dreams comes true come true I also really like these these little things adding it I really like this collection it's so uh, and the color combination I can't say it enough reading is dreaming with your eyes open 
so too. Yeah, cool. A room without books is like a body without a soul. Mm -mm -mm. Do I need to see more? And then I added, I have some space on the bottom. I added some uh, space little uh, tags where you can write your own name or maybe a book title or whatever you like to add on here. So I kept these open for your own imagination. And then at the back we have that linen background again, but then that aubergine pink with again these nice little flowery leaf ornament things. I don't know exactly the name of it, but it also feels a little bit like those in the woods when you get strangled in, in these kind of bushes. I really like this one. Cool. Alright, so this one is very nice and pink. Not the aubergine, but yeah, maybe an old pink or something. And then, oh, again, one of my favorite pages is Bring Back the Flower. Same as we got this earlier and with the pink background. So this is the grungy background with the same flowers, with the same little leaves at the back. I love it. And on the back, yeah, 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 we have some stripes. Oh, girls, I can tell you, it's it's a privilege to create your own paper collection. You can add whatever I want. Yes. <laughs> and then we have another cut apart uh, page. And if you receive this page, I want to explain myself a little bit because I... In the beginning, I was adding a light um, color on the, for the background, but if I add a light one, then these stamps will not come forward as nice as it now is with a, with a dark background. So I chose for a darker background, pure for these little stamps. So if you say, why did she use such a dark background? That is the case, because then you will see the stamp edges much, much better. So that's why. <laughs> All right, so we have four tags on here. Good things takes time. Making albums takes time. That's a good thing. <laughs> Just one more chapter. Writing is, a sup is my superpower. And take it one step at a time. Alright, so we have some uh, round ones. I chose this time for to make them double because I like to make those twin closures. Um, but I also like to have them the same images on. So that's why I chose for that to make a set of double twins. Twins buttons. And then we have these little stamps, love it, the letters, the books, and me time. And then we have this, this, um, yeah, how you call this? Um, I think I have something in mind to do this already with, but that, that's why I actually made this, but I really like it with this, this little, how you call these little guys in here? These, I love it. And then I had some space left and I created these little name tags with the flowers so you can add your whatever you want to write on here. And then the back, the back, the back, the back is not the least. <laughs> so yeah, again a stripe, yes again a stripe because here are all the colors that I have used in this paper collection so it fits on every single page. It's really nice and crunchy. Oh, okay, what do you think? So this is all on this side and then these are the busy ones. So you have a, normally I do the busy ones, the A size and the easy peasy ones on the back. It's a little bit how I ordered, ordered them. Alright, so guys, this is one set. Uh -huh. And then six times and that's your paper bag. I hope you like it. And I already cut out all the ornaments, all the little things, but like the strips I already cut out. And it looks so much better if I already, if you already cut.
cut this out so it's easy to work with um, if you cut this out these I'm gonna try to cut out with my puncher and we have another strip here we have the little name tags so yeah everything is already cut not smooched that I still need to do but this is a little bit how it all looks when it's cut out look at this oh, oh, oh yes so yeah what do you think what shall we make with this stay tuned and you will see bye bye